What's going on, Hermanites? Today is Sunday, June 20th, 2010, and this is your SHF Weekly Update. Cool thing that I, um, you know, not like you know that you know something, but you never really put like two and two together. Well, I know the meaning of my name. My name is Scott Edward Herman. Scott means painted warrior, Edward means guardian of prosperity, and Herman means warrior. So I'm pretty sure that at some point in my life, if you believe in like reincarnation, I was a warrior and a guardian and all that cool stuff. But the coolest thing is that someone pointed out on the community page, technically calling you guys my Hermanites, so I'm really calling you my warriors, and that's badass. So keep that in mind. If you think Hermanites sounds weird, I'm calling you my warriors. I'm gonna kick some butt. <laughs> but I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, Tuesday, this Tuesday coming up, I'm going to be posting the Ab Pillow Extreme Total Core cool Workout. Urgh, look at that. I used my Ab Pillow today. <laughs> this workout is great. It targets your lower abs, your upper abs, your obliques, your serratus, and it's going to help build lower back strength as well. You can do it anywhere because all it is is utilizing a pillow to do the workout. I actually have a special pillow case that I made for the workout. If you want to see it and purchase your own, scarfandfinish.com, go to the store and you'll be able to see it there. Okay guys? So that's coming on Tuesday because I'm going to love that workout, I guarantee it. And then what I decided to do for next week, you know, everyone's been asking for forearm workouts. Um, I never do forearm workouts because my routines are so intense, I'm constantly like gripping things so tight that I get a killer forearm workout from it anyways. However, I know every, not everyone's the same, so what I'm going to do is post six ways, yeah, six ways to work your forearms, but I'm going to post two videos next Tuesday because I don't want to post just the forearm video for the workout, and a lot of you guys have been asking for at-home chest routines to help build a bigger chest, so I have a routine, it's a pyramid push-up chest routine that you can do at home, and basically it's a routine that you can do three times a day on chest day doing different kinds of push-ups. Uh, something we used to do in wrestling practice, but I modified it to make it a little bit more intense to help build a stronger chest. So, chest pyramid um, at home building routine, I'm going to post that, and also six ways to work your forearms next Tuesday. You guys are going to love it. And I'll link the two videos together so as soon as you watch one, you can go to the other one. Okay? So that's coming next Tuesday, not this Tuesday coming, the one after that. Um, also, too, I'm going to post a link right now, right there. Okay? If you click on this link, you guys have been asking questions that you want answered. Like, there's a lot of questions being posted on the community page. If you guys still have questions you want to know or you want to have answered, post them on the community page. What I do and what Sean does. If you don't know who Sean is, you'll know in a second. He's the guy that'll beat me down videos. Uh, we've been taking your questions and storing them. And we're going to start answering about four or five a week, depending on how long they are. And we're going to be posting them every Sunday with the Sunday updates. So if you click on this link right here, It'll go to the video of Sean and I discussing five questions. We did um, how many days a week should I work out? Can you burn fat and gain muscle at the same time? Is creatine good or bad? How to avoid getting dizzy or lightheaded while working out? And is doing a lot of cardio and weightlifting counterproductive? And if you go to that video and you click on the, um, the info section and you expand it, there's a little uh, button. If you look on this video, like over here, you click on the arrow and it expands the uh, info section. I put the names of the people who asked the question, what the question is, then there's also a timestamp on there. If you're not sure what a timestamp is, it's going to be numbers in blue, and if you click on them, the video will automatically go to the portion of the video where it answers that question. Like for example, I think, um, is creatine good or bad? We don't tackle that question until like six minutes into the video. So if you click on like 603 it is, it'll go right to that spot in the video, so you don't have to kind of wait throughout the whole thing if you have a specific question you want to get answered or if only one or two of these questions interest you, you can just go right to them. So check that out. I'm going to leave this link here for the rest of this video so you guys can just keep looking at it. Um, oh, Joe Morano, M-A-R-A-N-O. He tackled the Beat Me Down episode 2 video. He, did, he actually made his own video out in the woods. It's about three minutes long. Wasn't as easy as you thought it was going to be, was it, Joe? But you did a great job. I'm going to post a link to him doing it in the info section below. Okay, so check that out. He did an amazing job. Posted it on the Facebook community page. Him and his friends went out into the woods. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty funny. They said uh, they didn't have quite the setup that we had. Sean and I kind of cleared a little area. Um, Joe's just, you know, 
on this tree over here and walking through like all these leaves and rocks to where he had his rock for Hulk smashes, got his sledgehammer, was hitting a tree. You do a really good job, man. I was really proud of you. And it excites me to see you guys try this stuff. We had a woman, Michelle, on the community page. She said she um, changed the 300 workout so that she could do it for her body type. I love this stuff. I love seeing you guys push yourself to the extreme and doing all these amazing things. You Hermonites are amazing because you're warriors. And last but not least, um, I posted some things on the community page today. I mentioned some things were mentioned yesterday. Uh, I'm not going to name. I'm not going to say what website it was, but there was a there was a website you know that is utilizing and taking my photo. There's one of me in a towel, and they're using it to promote their site. Uh, it's a site that I'm not affiliated with. It's a site that I don't promote. Um, it's a gay website promoting gay hookups. Uh, I I support the gay community 100%. However, you know, I'm not a sellout, and I would never want to put myself in that position. So if some of you have seen the photos, wondering why I'm on that site, it's because they stole the image. But, you know, we're working on getting that thing taken down. So I want to, I appreciate all you guys actually who wrote to me, because I had no idea until you guys told me, some of, my, some of the Hermonites, that my photo was being used. So, you know, thank you very much. You know, we're a community. We take care of each other. And, you know, I can't say that for other people. Like other people, maybe, you know, no one cares enough to tell them that photos are being used, but you know, it makes me feel like a really amazing person to have such a supportive community who you know sees these things and thinks enough to actually want to let me know. So thank you guys. Should be down next week, hopefully Monday. But in the meantime, just you know, ignore it. I didn't say okay. Alright, so Hermanites, add pillow extreme next Tuesday. Check out the questions over here with me and Sean. And then like I said, chest at home chest workout and six ways to work your forearms coming the Tuesday after that. Hope you guys all had an amazing Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all your fathers out there. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.